Back again with the lock picking lawyer. What are we learning today? How are you guys today? doing? Well, what I've got here is a motorcycle disc brake lock. It's something that you put around the disc brake rotor of a motorcycle, lock into place, stops the wheel from turning, and prevents most forms of roll away theft. So it's like the club, but for your brake disc. It's exactly what it is. And like the club, this has some problems. I mean, it's got a lock on it, so I have a feeling I know where this is headed. I know how this ends. The lock is one thing, but it's the body of this that's the main issue here. This is made out of cast zinc, or a zinc alloy of some kind. And while it's great for casting, it's not very strong. That allows us to do some things with this that we wouldn't be able to do with a hardened steel lock. So what we're going to do is lock this on. And what I'm gonna give you is this. Well, first of all, what is this? This is a bolt extractor. It's something that you would use to take out a stripped bolt. But what we're gonna do is put it right here. You're gonna screw that in, and as it penetrates, it's going to spread this open and break this in half. <gasps> the moment I saw this, I thought of a car jack and how you would cycle it around, and my guess is, just like it's enough strength to lift up a car, you're gonna be able to pry this thing you're wide just, open. You're just boring into the space between the zinc you and have spreading a it open? double mechanical advantage. The first is with the screw, and the second is with the wedge-shaped piece of material here. Got it. So okay. it compounds it. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put a little bit of grease on it. It's gonna make things a lot easier. Okay, now that we got that on, oh, put this in yeah, as you, close to the top you, and turn it backwards. When you said a little bit of grease, you meant just a little bit. I, oh, okay, and, and you said this is reverse threaded? Reverse threaded, so. Because it's meant to pull strip yep. bolts out. What you're gonna do is what you would normally do while loosening something. Okay, oh yeah. Can you just feel the zinc giving? Oh, you can see it's starting to bulge. You can see that the, that the grease makes a huge difference. It does, I've done this without grease before and you can do it, but it takes a lot more force. This is gonna be one of those episodes where people close their eyes and just listen to what we're saying. <laughs> and it gets weird. Okay, stop for just a moment because we can already see that crack forming right here. Oh, yeah. oh we're gonna full on break this thing. We are, we're gonna break this thing right in half. Okay. It is so easy at this point. Yeah, like right now it's, like right now it's. Oh it. my God, are you kidding me? That's it. So. In this case, the hack, the exploit, is just the brittleness of the stuff that this is made out of. They used a cheap material, it's easy to manufacture, but you don't want to be using cast zinc for locks. So where do you get one of these? Can you just get it at a hardware store? Amazon hardware store, auto parts store, they're pretty common. And more importantly, where can we get more of the lockpicking lawyer? YouTube.com forward slash lockpicking lawyer. We got some more things lined up, so stay tuned this week, folks. <laughs> yeah. Check them out. Oh, dude, that's terrifying. Grant, the editor here. If you enjoyed this video, check out our playlist of all the times that Lockpicking Lawyer's been on the show. And as always, consider pledging to our Patreon. Every little bit helps. If you can't afford that, then just try to be kind on the internet. I know it's tough. <laughs>